Hi everyone, this video is a short introduction to sound notes. Let's start with installation. Download the add-on zip file. Then open up Blender and go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and click Install. Locate the file and double click it. Enable the add-on and expand the tab. Click on the Install Requirements button. This should install additional Python libraries needed for add-on operation. Installation may take up to a few minutes. To verify your installation, click Check Installation button. If everything worked, it should say LibreOSA is installed. Now let's try to use it. Go to Geometry Notes tab. Here on the side is Sound Notes add-on. You can open and close the panel with N. Click on Load Audio and search for your song. Then click on Analyze Audio. This might take a moment if your track is long. Now everything should be ready. Let's add in a new object and new Geometry Notes modifier. We can see keyframes for every frame in animation. Now let's move this object with loudness of the audio. Add a transform node. And now let's add in a sound info node. Now simply plug the loudness output to the z-axis. This should now move the object up and down depending on the loudness of the song. Now let's try beat triangle function. This value simulates distance to closest beat in a song. Value 1 represents beat and value 0 is in the middle of two beats. We can make this animation a bit more interesting by adding a few more notes. Let's do another example with the Spectrogram node. It currently has 12 bins for different frequencies. Lower numbers on outputs represent intensities of lower frequencies. We are making a simple equalizer visualization. First, let's add a cube. We will only be changing its vertical scale. So I'm going to set X and Y values to 1. Connecting an output of the spectrogram to Z-axis makes the desired effect. We shall scale this up. I'm going to join these nodes into a group to make it easier to create multiple of these cubes. We will have to offset them on X-axis to make a row of them. Add a join geometry node and then duplicate our group. Connect the outputs of the spectrogram to the inputs of the groups and join all the cubes together. Now we just have to add some offset for each of them. And it's done! I hope this video helped you and thanks for watching.